r slash ask reddit what's the strangest punishment your parents ever gave you my parents said i was playing too much skyrim when it came out so they took the router with them to work every day good thing you don't need internet to play an offline single player game LMAO my parents definitely did not understand technology and they'd do stuff like this but even less effective. Like they'd turn the screen off and assume that meant the entire machine was shut down and everything was lost. Or like everything was plugged into a power strip so they'd take the power strip away but all the plugs and outlets were still right there so one time my mom kept holding the off button down. But I was sitting there on the screen with the mouse and keyboard and a window would pop up asking whether I actually wanted to turn the computer off. So I just kept clicking no. Leave the computer on. She could not for the life of her understand why it didn't work. Our family got DSL but we still kept two phone lines because my dad worked from home a lot. His work would page him. He'd pick up the second line in his office. My bedroom used to be a big family room. But my parents divided it and let me have one half for my own space and the other half was my dad's office so I still had both phone connections in my room. My parents got mad over some stupid shit. I think I skipped a class I didn't have to go to work wise. So my mom got mad. So my dad disabled my PC's access to the DSL router. So, my boyfriend was at college and he mailed me a card. Inside was a free, shitty, dial-up CD. So I would use the second line after my dad started making dinner. If he heard his pager, I'd pull my cord till he was off the phone. And it worked beautifully. For about 5 weeks, my dad caught me when he noticed the line was lit one day when he was quicker than I was. The hilarious part is I told them they forced me to lie to them because I had homework and I wasn't allowed to go to the library. So how could I study for my AP tests and write papers? So, I got my DSL back. I didn't get in much trouble because graduation was just weeks away. And every time my mom tried to punish me I told her I would cancel my birthday trip home at college if she didn't start calming down. And since my brother moved out the year ahead, then me, then my sister two years later, she panicked and realized she was very quickly losing all control so she stopped throwing her weight around where I was concerned. For some reason my parents allowed my brother and I to have a very basic bow and arrow which we were allowed to shoot at a cardboard box in the backyard. I, being very young and very dumb, crawled into the box while my brother was firing. Parents were not pleased and to demonstrate how dangerous what I had done was. They made me lay on the couch for the whole day and pretend I was in a hospital bed. I mean if you were an active kid and weren't allowed to move or play with toys. Boring TV and bland food. I can see that as a punishment. Still weird though. This really just describes what I did today. If you had no TV then I could see it but he was on the couch. So unless the family vacated the room just to perform this strange punishment, then I doubt it. LOL that's actually pretty hilarious. I hated time out as a kid so that was probably actually a pretty effective punishment. When I was 10, mum would take my NES games for a week. When I was 13, mum would take my SNES games for a week. When I was 16, mum would take my blank floppy disks for a week. I didn't explain the mistake to her until I moved out. All I can imagine is just a drawer full of floppy disks with names on them which are all blank and an old cardboard box of numbered floppy disks with stuff on them. I would have written Nintendo's on the floppy disks so she continued to believe those were the actual game cartridges. Had to fill cut open tennis balls with pennies. I'm still not sure what that was about. I was innocent BTW. I can't help but think this has something to do with some weird ass illegal activity cause I have no other explanation for this. My father said it was a punishment that his father had made him do once upon a time. We had a large bottle, a 10 gallon jug, full of loose change. He made me dump it out, gather the pennies, and fill up some tennis balls. It wasn't a bad punishment, just odd. I preferred it over any other punishment I could have been handed. It's just so oddly specific Lomeo. At least he wasn't beating you with the tennis balls I guess. You know how heavy a tennis ball filled with pennies is? You just can't throw that. Granted, he used to be one hell of a baseball player in college. He probably could have thrown it. He and my sister were fighting after I tried to steal some of her chili fries and she stabbed me with a fork. Dad took us out back and tied us up face to face with a rope. Told us when you figure out how to work together you will be able to get out. 
Did you work together and get out? After we stopped spitting on each other. Yes. Are you two, in fact, llamas?